Hi, in, the, in this video we're going to talk about sending form leads from our website to Google Sheets with an app called Zapier. Why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes you would like to share your leads with other people without them accessing your site or without sending the email with the lead. So they will have a centralized place to see all their leads um, created on a Google Sheet. I'll walk you through how to do that. So let's get started. We will need, of course, a website with a form, uh, a WordPress site. I'll show you, uh, for example, I have a test site here simple web form with a name, email, subject, message. On the plugins we have installed the Contact Form 7 plugin and the Contact Form 7 to Zapier plugin. How is the form uh, created? We go here to the Contact Forms tab. We have a very standard form with the name, email, subject, message, and a submit button. Once we've inst installed the Zapier plugin, we'll have here another tab with a few fields that I'll show you how to fill up. Um, first of all, we would check this box. We would like this form to send the leads to Zapier. Then we enter the webhook URL, which I'll show you. And keep on sending the emails. We can uncheck this if we don't want the email sent. I uh, have them sent. Now if we head over to Zapier, Zapier is a website which enables us to create different types of functions which happen on other places. One of them is uh, catching uh, the leads that are sent from our form and then moving them over to a Google Sheet. In this uh, um, installation I have a free plan which enables me to create I think up to five zaps. Um, a zap is the action that uh, creates, uh, collects the, uh, the data and send it to somewhere else. So I've created a new Zap and I call it Content for 7 to Google, Google Sheets. Now this Zap is uh, created using two steps. The first step is called Catch Hook. If we click here on Webhooks by Zapier the most popular one is called Webhooks, and then there's Google Sheets. We select Webhooks, and in the next step on the Catch Hook tab, we select Catch Hook, and then on the next tab, we see the View Webhook. And this URL, we just copy it. And we paste it here. This is how Zapier knows how to connect between our form and their app and then does the connection to uh, the next step which would be uh, Google Sheets. So after I pasted the webhook inside the contact form uh, area. I can test my uh, webhook and once I see I have the green notification the test is successful. So now I add an action which would be a Google Sheets. I select here Google Sheets and my action would be to create a new row. So I select that. Now I've connected 
my account on Google to Zapier through clicking this button. I put in my email, I test, and I see everything connected. Now, once I've connected, I create my actual Google Sheets. I create a new sheet. For example, this Google Sheet, I have a few columns, first name, email, subject, message, and time. And these columns correspond to my form. Um, as you see here, I have a name, email, subject, and message. The time is created automatically once the form is submitted by Zapier. Now we'll go back to uh, the Zapier app. I can see if I click on Edit Template that Zapier already knows um, which sheet I'm using. Over here I, I select it through all my optional sheets that I have in my Google account. I select the worksheet and then once I click on refresh fields all these fields are created with their uh, corresponding data. Now, if you don't see it for the first time, what you might have to do is just submit your form. Go to your site, put in the uh, just you know demo field, demo content, and click send. That will help Zapier to get to know uh, your form. Of course, after you enter everything, you can test the step and then when done you click on finish now you always have to over here on the top part of the page to see that your zap is on because if your zap is off it won't work when does the zap turn off if you make any changes either in the catch hook or in your spreadsheet uh, adding a column or changing the spreadsheet so you have to take notice of that because sometimes you just do something, you update and it stops working and then only to find that Zap's been turned off because you made these changes. So let's see now that it is working. I went to my uh, demo form. I'll write my name, my email. my subject, and my message. And I'll send my form. I see that it's been sent. And I can see that a new row has been created. In my uh, in my Google Sheet with the subject and the message. Now, how is the time created? In the edit template part of the spreadsheet, there is a time option created by Zapier. And how is this done? There is a little snippet of code, which is called here Zap Meet a Human now just copy this into here and it automatically generates a timestamp for uh, when this field was created i found that this is the most reliable way to add a timestamp uh, rather than adding it uh, through uh, contact 47. so i hope you and enjoyed this uh, short tutorial about sending leads from your WordPress site with the Content Form 7 form through Zapier to a Google Sheet. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.